How does the Umrah in Ramadan equal to Hajj? And Imam Bukhari and Muslim, rahimahullah ta'ala, reported that Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu an Abi said that the Prophet sallam, uh, asked a woman of Al Ansar, Why didn't you join us in Hajj? She said, Ya Rasulullah, we only had two camels. Uh, uh, my uh, father in law and my son uh, took one and she camels and they took they took one and they traveled with it to make hajj with you but the other one was left to be used to be milked to uh, use for the home as basically a source of substance and food uh, we can't use both uh, so that's why i had to stay behind uh, then nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam told her if ramadan comes go and make umrah go and make umrah because Umrah uh, during Ramadan will be equal to Hajj and in Muslim to equal to Hajj with me يعني as if you made Hajj with me that one that you missed um, Al-Ulama rahimahullah have a different uh, opinions in regard what this hadith really uh, means or apply to who so some scholars said that this hadith only applied to that woman and the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said it to her just to make her feel good and that was a gift from Allah to that woman through the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Sa'id ibn Jubayr for example used to say that as Ibn Hajar Rahimahullah said what can support this position what Abu Dawood reported that uh, Umm Ma'qal was asked about this concept, Hajj, Umrah in Ramadan will be equal to Hajj. She said, Hajj is Hajj and Umrah is Umrah. Umrah is not going to be Hajj basically and Hajj is not going to be equal to Umrah. And she said that the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that to me, uh, uh, I wasn't sure if this is only for me personally and something can be applied to other people as well. But this narration is actually weak, uh, as al-ulama rahimahullah mentioned. Uh, the other position, some ulama said, no, the reward for Umrah and Ramadan equal to Hajj, for those who had the intention to go to Hajj, but something prevented them from going to Hajj. So if they go to Umrah, it will be equal in reward to the Hajj. Uh, and that position, Ibn Rajab rahimahullah uh, mentioned, and, and many scholars, uh, and I do have a reservation really about this opinion because you know what, if, if the issue about intention, you don't need to make Umrah to get the reward. If you sincerely want to go to Hajj and something prevented you from Hajj, you already got the Hajj, the, the reward of the Hajj. Uh, uh, and uh, Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah mentioned that opinion and he did not uh, uh, support it. The third opinion, which is the vast majority of the Fuqaha, the Hanafi, the Shafi'i, the Maliki, uh, and uh, many of the scholars of hadith who commented on this hadith, they said, no, this hadith is am, general, apply to all people all time. So if you make hajj or make umrah during Ramadan, it will be equal to hajj and even can be equal to hajj with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa wasallam. Um, and uh, among the things that support this position, uh, that many companions mention this uh, concept and mentioned this hadith without making only strict to the woman. They didn't even narrate the story. They just mentioned the uh, part where the Prophet ﷺ said, uh, Umrah uh, in Ramadan equal to Hajj. And this hadith was reported by Ibn Abbas, Jabir, Abi Hurairah, an, Anas, and other companions. Uh, also, uh, people through history been caring to do Umrah in Ramadan, scholars and ulama, uh, over the time, they care about going to Ramadan and to make, you know, uh, Umrah during the month of Ramadan because, you know, it is special. Uh, even though we don't know that the Prophet ever made Umrah during uh, Ramadan. Um, uh, and that's one of the argue that the first group said that there is nothing in Nabi Sallam did or encouraged or the Sahaba reported that they used to care to do Umrah in Ramadan. Uh, here, uh, the other part, which is what that means equal to Hajj. If we say it's equal to Hajj, what that means equal to Hajj? When we say equal to Hajj, first of all, it doesn't mean that it will take the obligations of Hajj from you. So if I never made Hajj, 
I said, you know what? I'm not going to go for Hajj. It's cheaper to go for Umrah, for example, or easier to go for Umrah. I made Umrah, خلاص, I fulfilled the Hajj. No. By Ijma' al ulama, there is nobody disagree that this is wrong and this is not correct understanding. Equal to Hajj, it means in reward. But it doesn't uh, basically uh, take away the obligations uh, of Hajj uh, uh, being upon you. To obl- to, you're obligated to, do to, to, to make Hajj. That will not uh, take that away. But equal to Hajj in reward. And what I mean by reward? A general reward. It's like when you say, reading Qul Allah equal to third of the Quran. No doubt the one who read changes verse by verse, the reward is much higher. But as a concept, as if he read the, the third of the Quran, because Al Hajj include a lot of other good deeds in it, uh, you will not get by going to Umrah, like Arafah, Jamarat, and uh, the, the amount of Tawaf and Sa'i that you do based on the type of Hajj that you will be doing. So here we say, uh, this is an encouragement for us to go for uh, Umrah in Ramadan if we can, and we can offer. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. Hey, thank you for uh, watching and subscribe so you can continue to get the rest of the videos. I don't know whether someone over here, there, whatever, whatnot. Uh, it's beautiful, this, uh, this series of videos, Faith IQ, and we need your support. And that's by watching it, by sharing it, and then by donating towards it so we can continue to make more videos that deal with more of your issues. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.